What's up guys, you're here bringing you some more Minecraft, like always, so, me and Mr. Prime, over here, saying hi, um, before I get started, I made some more diamond tools, so I can get, uh, yeah, but, what we're going to go do today, is, make our nether portal base, now, the way, I want to go about this is first off we're going to want to make some more stone tools for a mining nether rack because the tool the type of tool as long as the pickaxe doesn't matter for the length of time spent mining uh, nether rack so I'm going to make a lot of stone picks for mining this nether rack and then yeah also, we're going to make two chests. Actually, we'll make four. Actually, we'll only make six. I need a lot of chests. Might as well make eight. <laughs> Just keep increasing this number. Oh. Wait. Perfect. Alright, so we got our chests. Now, um, it's turning nighttime, right? Yeah. I want to sleep because I like the day. Also, while we're waiting for it to be night, um, didn't want to do that. Um, if you want to go, if, if you're experiencing any lag at all in Minecraft, a uh, quick tip is go into your options, go to video settings, and then look at the advanced OpenGL. It's off by default. Turn that on. I went from an average of about 25 FPS, which is rather laggy, um, to about 40. Um, that's, of course, not recording, which is playable. So, let's sleep now. But the way I want to go about this is I'm going to go down, make a base, uh, portal in, portal out to see if I get the same portal. And then we're going to walk around a little ways, probably go quite a ways away, and then make another portal, and then portal out, and then see where we end up. So again, not using my transportation system, because I'm, I'm dumb. But, uh, yeah... Um, at this level, we have our wheat farm that I finished just building these walkways right here. And I think I'll just put a chest over here to hold wheat seeds and hoes. Um, I'll harvest it later and plant more seeds, but, you know. And then here we have our nether. Our nether room. Let's get our diamond tools out here. She probably brought up to work torches. Um, I didn't think this through. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Wolf. How are you doing? You can stay here. Let's go down to our nether portal base again. Um, got a stack, a little bit more than a stack of uh, torches. See if I don't die, because I uh, don't die. Okay, cool. Climb out of the water here, and then another base. So I think the most appropriate place to put it would be this wall right here. We can't dig down, so I think we should mark out where we want this. And I think since that torch is the middle one, hmm. There's not a way to make it perfectly in the middle, actually. Hmm, where should I put it then? I need to like not be so picky about this and just put it somewhere. Wait, actually, this right here, no, this right here is the middle, isn't it? How many, how long is this? Well, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
says this is 15, 1. Actually, no, we need 14 because it's 4 blocks wide. So we'd go over 5, and then that's where it'd start, and then you'd end it here. Yeah, it looks okay. So let's place our obsidian that I gathered off camera. I should have probably put that on the wall to make it look better. Ugh. Let's take care of that. Of course, I'll cut this out because mining obsidian is probably the most boring thing anyone can possibly ever do in Minecraft. But Minecraft OCD. Okay, I went back and grabbed some clean stone and uh, getting some creepy cave noises. Um, this is just so I can make this all clean stone back here. Like, uh, actually, we can do that, 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 and that, and then tear out this, take that torch down, um, take care of this, should probably use my shovel, not my pickaxe, shovel. Ooh, almost fell into lava, but luckily it was obsidian. Um, do that. Now just cover up the back of this. Actually, it doesn't matter. Like so. And then probably do this. Yeah. So we're going to portal in there. Come back out to see if our portal's linked up. Because they probably don't. And then we're going to make a new portal. Uh, walk After walking a ways. And then see where we end up. First, I am going to place this chest over here. And have a chest. And here we go. Creepy nether. Are you ready for this? Double check that I'm peaceful. Because I hate dealing with ghasts. So let's do this. Ah, tripping balls. Ah. Let's build up. And we're in the nether, while it's slowly loading. Looks like I got a very pretty nether spawn. Which is good, put down a few torches down so you can, so you guys can see. So I think we're going to exit our portal really fast to see if they linked up. I doubt they did, but if they did, that's great. Probably gonna spawn in some random deep cave. Ooh, they linked up. I wonder if Notch fixed that bug, because the last time I messed with the nether portals, um, they. Yeah, they're, they're messed up. So cool. Those link up. It's very lucky. And if you make a portal from the nether to the overworld, they always link up. Um, it has to do something with the area of range that the nether portal search for. And they don't remember which portals that they were linked to, so. We spawn in a very nice flat area, so. Um. Yeah. Looks, looks like a nice place to start. I'm very happy with my nether spawn. Let's clean up this area, though. And then we can start building a house. Now, since it's the nether, um, I feel like it's appropriate to use not clean stone, but cobblestone. I don't really know why, but I feel like regular cobblestone just uh, appears better in the nether. I've 
picture the nether as a gritty place and like not something that you should make like pretty structures in and I picture the nether more of like uh, something that you should try and survive in and not something that you go for stakes for now I'm playing on the uh, peaceful so it doesn't really matter but I still want to kind of go with the theme of that and do so but I want to clean up a little bit here first um, kind of level off this area and then I'll make a little nether base or I'll begin making a little nether base so let's get a little landscaping in here make sure I don't fall in the lava priority number one and cool I think that's pretty good just kinda do some of this right here now the rack goes so fast it mines so fast very nice I'm very happy with the place I spawned in the nether some glowstone up there we can go grab I want to get some glowstone rather badly because uh, I have some ideas to do with it. As far as traveling goes, I think we're just gonna make a beeline straight that way. Um, yeah. So right now, since I don't have my cobble with me and it's all at my house, I think we're gonna gather this glowstone. Just like a floating nether rack right there. It's kind of cool. Little lava fall right here. That's pretty cool too. Wow, it's a pretty cool place. So we're going to hop up here and gather this glowstone. Because Notch increased the amount of glowstone that you get from each one. And he made it to where you only have to make a 4x4 square of glowstone rather than the usual giant square. So, And glowstone gives light of the sun. So it's a lot uh it's a lot better looking than torches in my opinion. It's also rather more useful because it gives off the light of the sun, so now let's just dig back down. Look at all of that glowstone just waiting to be collected. And almost falling into the lava, that too. Alright, how much did that give us? A little bit more than a stack. Let's go gather this glowstone up here. And then we can head back and grab some cobble and start building our house. It seems a little bit more accessible. I remember when the nether came out I thought it was a very very cool update it was very overhyped but uh, it was still a very good update probably one of the best notches made um, reason being he created a whole new world like I, I can't imagine the amount of coding that went into this he basically recoded minecraft into a new world um, I can't I can't imagine how much time that took and how much effort he put into it it was a little rushed at the end there of the Halloween update due to the fact uh, he was just rushed like there wasn't much he could do about it so um, he left out lanterns and stuff at the start of the at the update which if any of you were around to see my video of my house I had like eight stacks of torches because he was planning on making every torch currently placed uh, made into a lantern already and basically what lanterns would do would never burn out and torches would start burning out after a certain period of time so yeah that's that and this is kind of cool go check this out 
kind of creepy too. I hate nether caves. Because two reasons, nothing's ever to be found. And they're super easy to get lost in because everything looks the same. And they always loop around and they're a lot more intricate than actual actual regular caves. Just gonna look around quickly here. I'm not gonna venture deep inside. Uh, that's what she said, deep inside. Alright, I'm gonna turn back and go back to the real world and I think I'm gonna build a little nether base here. Now um, see how it turns out. <laughs>